Rhoda Goldburn. This is your HCPL life. For the staff at HCPL, it seems like Rhoda has always been around, making sure we do what's right, showing us how to be successful, and teaching us all how to run a library. It's said that Rhoda comes from somewhere in the Great White North, but we all know that once she reached Texas, she never looked back. Rhoda came to HCPL in 1975 as Acquisitions Coordinator. She soon became Assistant County Librarian and then Deputy Director. Rhoda's jobs have included working with the media, representing the library at uh, official ceremonies, moving libraries in times of success and in times of trouble, and advocating for all of us at the local and state levels. What you might not know, though, is Rhoda also auditioned for a short-lived series, Saturday Night Libraries. Let's watch. That's right, folks. Don't touch that dial. Stay tuned to Channel 925, where H-Town gets its news. And now, in keeping with our policy of presenting responsible, opposing viewpoints, here with an editorial reply is Mrs. Zinnia Stoneberg of Bel Air, Texas. So Zinnia, what exactly is your hot button issue? Well, Scott, it's like this. Everywhere I go, I keep hearing about people talking about the Taxi Reading Club. Now, as a concerned parent of two impressionable, above average children, I must question the wisdom of placing thousands of small children in taxis and then driving them who knows where just to read books. And most importantly, how will all the people who rely on taxis to get to their job or to get to the airport get to where they're going if every taxi is filled with little children reading books or driving around looking for a good time? I must tell you, there will be a transportation nightmare. Mrs. Stoneberg? Mrs. Stoneberg? What? Um, Texas. The word is Texas. T-E-X-A-S. Not taxis. The Texas Reading Club. You got kids sign up for it at their local library. Never mind. Through the years, Rhoda has presented awards broken ground on new libraries, received awards, but through it all, she's been a library director who is happy to lead by example and lend a hand wherever one was needed. Rhoda's also made many friends throughout the years. Tuskegee Airmen, friends of the library and library volunteers, Rotary Club Sponsors, and County Commissioners. Here are two more friends who have a message for Rhoda. Welcome to the Shasta Rhoda Show. I'm Lynn Tuckin, and I'm Diane Tuckin. Well, it's an honor for retirement. Today's show is dedicated to Chef Rhoda. Chef Rhoda has always been a wonderful role model to us all, and she has certainly taught us all so much over the years. She certainly has. And so in honor of Rhoda's retirement, we put on our best chef's hats and have baked and put together a special recipe for Rhoda to thank her for all the many wonderful treats she brought us over the years. So Diane, let's get started. Let's get started. What do we need? What do we need? Okay, now Lane's going to uh, put it together. together while I read the ingredients. So you're going to start with three cups plus two tablespoons of professionalism. Okay, this is all pre-measured. Professionalism! Three-fourths cup of dedication. All right, dedication. Then add a cup of vision. Vision! Oh, gosh, I dropped the cup in there. Okay. Then, then add two teaspoons of flexibility. 
two teaspoons of flexibility. Teaspoon, tablespoon, you know, the better cooks know how much to put in. I think I can do that. All right. And don't forget your two portions of fairness and balance. Oh yeah, Roto, that's like fair and balanced. Fair and balanced. Then a teaspoon, no, a whole tablespoon of delegation. Well, I think we need a cup, actually. A cup of delegation. Then two teaspoons of perseverance. Oh, perseverance. I think I'll eyeball it again. Perseverance. And then add 10 to 12 ounces of honesty. 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 And then add a dash of salt, kosher salt. Kosher salt. Then mix together well. Mixing well. And spread into a pan. And bake at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, remove it from the oven and allow it to cool completely. Then ice with plenty of sweetness and kindness. Sweetness and kindness. And you will have the very best library director, Chef, Chef Rhoda, Rhoda Goldberg. Congratulations, Rhoda. Congratulations. You get your retirement. Bon appétit! Rhoda, even though you're leaving us, when we look at HCPL's beautiful libraries, the thriving programs in all of our branches, the technology that we make available to a grateful public, literacy classes available throughout the system, and the innovative services and staff that HCPL offers, we'll feel that you're always with us. You've not only influenced HCPL as a system, you've left a legacy in a generation of library staff who've always looked to you for advice. We'll even feel your influence in the expressions that we use day to day. So thank you, Rhoda, from HCPL and its staff and partners and library customers. We might not know where we'll run into you in the future or what you'll be doing, but whatever it is, we wish you a very long and happy retirement. <laughs>